Hello, in this video, we will be learning how to get started with RenJS and Atom Editor. So you must be wondering what is RenJS. RenJS is a visual novel game engine that is specifically designed for the writers. It uses YAML, which is easy to work with. And once you get hang of it, uh, it doesn't take time to write stories uh, with YAML. It is actually very uh, use uh, human friendly, uh, so and doesn't require a lot of coding knowledge. So I don't think you would have any problem working with it. Uh, apart from that, it also uses uh, Phaser JS and is written TypeScript. So if you want to extend the functionality of RangeJS, you can use Phaser and TypeScript to create plugins and make modification to the RangeJS for your specific purposes. So, uh, so you want to get started with it. The first thing I would suggest is to start with the tutorial and also the documentation that will help you to learn it thoroughly. Um, so once you start with the tutorial, you will be asked to download the quick start and the tutorial asset pack. I will, I will also suggest that you go through the tutorial step by step and make changes in your quick start as it suggests and learn along with it. But you might face a problem that how to run it locally, how to get started. One way is to download brackets. Uh, other way is to work with Atom and use a plugin called Atom Live Server to run a local web server so that you can uh, work with RangeJS. You make the changes and that rep reflects in your browser. So uh, I really don't want to get into what is a web server and what is a local web server here. But what I will just give you an overall idea what really happens. So these games are like HTML games. So once you develop it, you would need to upload it onto a web server so that the people can uh, play the game or else you would like to export it as an application using desktop package manager, which it comes with. Uh, if I go to this place, yeah, ranges desktop package, uh, desktop package, so that you can create executables for Linux and Windows. And it supports for both 64 bit and 32 bit uh, operating systems. So yeah, so once you are inside, uh, when you are, we are doing the tutorial, what you need to do is, uh, you need to download the quick start. So I've already downloaded the quick start here. So you can extract it. And you will have a folder and inside the folders, you will have your asset library, uh, story folder, where you have your GUI, GUI configuration, you have your configurations, uh, other setups and the story Apple, uh, story file, story.yml file. The most important file uh, as a writer, uh, you would have to deal with story.yml file. And um, uh, so we will learn, we, we will really don't go, we won't really go into the depth of how how these files are like work and what what exactly you can make changes to uh, but we will just learn how to set up the atom uh, editor so to start with you need to install the atom editor i already have atom installed so i'll just run it so once you are in the atom editor what you need to do is you need to press control plus comma keys on your keyboard. This will bring you into the settings page. 
and from there you need to choose the install tab so you need to put atom live server and you will get uh, results and this is the particular plugin you need to install atom live server by chess chen i really don't know how to pronounce it but yeah this is the one so click on install it will take some time great we can see that it has installed and we can disable it uninstall it but we would really don't want to do that so our work here is done we can close the settings uh, panel or page now just go to the place your uh, your root of the project is so basically when you extracted it this particular folder becomes the root of your project you need to drag this and you need to drag this to the uh, this uh, left side panel and once you drop this into the left side panel you will have the project folder and the tree to work with and you can see all those files and structure is here so to see how now the atom live server works you need to click on packages go to atom live server click start server and it will load in the game for you i will just mute the page and we can start with it so you can see this is how a visual novel is and there are choices to make and i'm ready to make changes and it says that's great go ahead so let's make changes now so we need to go into the story folder story.yml and let's make changes to the choice uh, we got there and in the choice we want to say yes I am ready to make changes and the second choice I will make change I will check it later save the file and once you save the file your page will reload and you can actually start the game playing the game again and just click and go ahead and you can see the changes in the choices are made and this is just the one change i have made you can actually change a lot of things you can uh, upload assets and then work along when i may i mean make changes and to look at reflect and there are so many settings to uh, work with you can uh, the first place i would actually say is to prepare the graphic user interface for your game uh, so we work with that check the configuration file where the uh, placement of the characters will be and all that uh, in the setup file you can set up your your assets uh, your characters your cgs your music and extra effects um, so yeah that is how you do it uh, importantly what you need to do is uh, once you play the tutorial you also go through the documentation the documentation is very comprehensive and if you follow it one by one you will understand what really uh, everything means you can actually read the documentation even before starting with the tutorial so that once once the tutorial is going uh, you can understand what everything is and you can start making changes and i hope this helps you creating visual novels and it helps you to get started bye bye